Yo! 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 Oh my god, plot twist. Three days later, this happened. You there! <laughs> okay guys, seriously, um, the day of this recording is actually a very sad day um, for the internet world. Um, don't really know how to say this, but it will be obvious by what's happened on the screen. It's a very sad day. And, um, <laughs> Okay guys, but in all seriousness, you have clicked on this video to watch my office slash gaming tour and uh, basically, the day is here, it is your boy Ari Petru, UK's biggest hype, is back again with another YouTube banger and today, I'm gonna let you in to my office slash gaming slash desk, whatever you wanna call it and uh, this room's a madness, so come inside. <laughs> So, first things first, when you do walk into my room, we have a few little hype beast items to show you. First one is this bait rug on the floor, and I want to say a massive, massive shout out to Cyro General. I'll leave his Instagram on the screen right now and his Instagram down in the description below. But he is a huge legend and basically has hooked me up with so many hype beast items that are in this room, and one of them being this UK bait rug on the floor. And then next to it, we have this little bait like doorstop thing, which is actually really, really helpful because I have like this supreme beaded curtain basically I need the door open for this beaded curtain to be like on this door I've got a bape doorstop again from Cyro General so massive shout out to him complete and utter legend hooked me up with so many bape and supreme cool items that are in this room so that's the first things you see when you come into my room so let's come in further quick little rundown of this shelf area because I have showed it before um, basically if you look over here there is just all my Supreme accessories, lots of course figures, um, and mainly just Supreme accessories, couple bape accessories, couple bear bricks and stuff like that. Loads of these have come from Cyro General. Lots of items have actually come from him. A lot of items I do just buy on a weekly basis when the Supreme season is going. And uh, the Supreme season lookbook I think is actually releasing today. So I'm super hyped for that. I will be recording a video on that. Yeah, this is my Supreme accessories. If you come over here, we have another Ikea lac shelf. So these are all actually Ikea lac shelves. They're like 10 pounds. And I think this one's like 40 pounds or something like that. I'll leave the links down below. Everything you see in this video, everything I mention in this video, there'll be links down below. So if I've given you some cool ideas or if you want to go and buy some of the stuff that I personally have, all the links are down below. And um, it's really, it's the, the links are down below. It's that simple. We've got Supreme Basketball, again, some mini little bear bricks, some more bear bricks, the bigger versions, and then some of my favorite Jordan ones, my off-whites. If you look down here, we have a massive bear brick, my Supreme suitcase with my um, Supreme flip-flops. Obviously, when you go on holiday, you need the Supreme flip-flops, but guys, another really, really cool feature about my room and my office setup and stuff like that. As you can see right here, I have this blue light, and then at the back, I have the red light. Obviously, UK's biggest hype beast matches the UK rug, the UK theme. These are Philips Hue lights. Now, I know loads of you guys will know what Philips Hue lights are, but if you don't, it's basically like these light strips that I've stuck underneath my desk, and then they have an app as well. So I go on the Philips Hue app like this, and I can just change the colors of my desk to whatever color I want. So I've chosen red for the back one, and then the other one I've got blue, but I can change them whatever vibe we want to go for. That's something that we have that's really, really cool, and just adds a little something, a bit of like oomph to the set. Anyways, the reason you guys have clicked on this video is to see my crazy office and gaming setup. And here we are, this is it. This is basically where I play game. I've been live streaming recently. <laughs> guys, I need a favor from all of you and that favor is please, please, please go and follow my Twitch. It's literally twitch.tv forward slash Ari Petru, super simple. Same as my YouTube, just Ari Petru. Twitch.tv, Ari Petru. It's on the screen right here. The link is down below. Please go and follow my Twitch. I'm gonna be live streaming like pretty much every other day. I'm gonna be doing loads of giveaways. Me and you guys, the subscribers, I'll play with you guys on live stream. And if we win a game, like I'll give you a 50 pound PlayStation gift card or Fortnite points or Call of Duty points or whatever it is. But please follow my Twitch, loads of giveaways. Pretty much every stream I'll be giving away 10, 20 pound. And if it's like a Friday or a Saturday, maybe I'll make it like 50 50, 100 pound, whatever it is, 
Follow my Twitch right now, link is down below. And now we can carry on. I'm gonna go through my entire desk setup. Everything you see, the links are down below. Show you everything that I have from my PlayStation, my PC, my monitors, my Mac, everything. And we're gonna start from this side and go that way. So, let's go to the desk. First of all, the gaming chair. We have this Inti, Intiti, I don't know what it's called, but it's not like a major brand or anything like that. But I just got it on Amazon. It was one of the best ones for the price. I think it was around like 150 pounds and it was on Amazon Prime so it literally came the next day. It all looked the same. It's basically just a race car chair, right? It works really well, black and red. I've got loads of red in my room. So this looks really good. As I say desk, this desk is um, not actually a desk. So what we have right here is we have an IKEA kitchen countertop. You see in your kitchen, you have a worktop. Um, yeah, this is a kitchen countertop. Now it's not unusual for desk setups. I'm sure if you watch setup videos and stuff like that, you would have seen this IKEA desk hack. I couldn't find a desk that was big enough for me for everything that I needed. So I got this kitchen countertop. It's like 240 centimeters. Then I got these Alex drawers from IKEA. Then I just got these furniture like stools and just screwed them into the desk and just put the countertop on the desk. So if you do want to replicate this desk, the links are down below. Now we will go to my gaming setup first. Right here we. Have have a scuff gaming case and the first thing you see is my scuff controller so when I play games if you don't have a scuff controller then you're pretty much at a disadvantage now modded controllers used to be kind of like like frowned upon in the gaming community but kind of now it's like everyone has a scuff controller if you play games all the time everyone has a scuff controller I have these paddles at the back that allow me to jump whilst I'm shooting rather than like I'd have to take my finger off my button to jump and then it's really difficult to shoot the scuff controller makes it really really easy to just jump melee do all of that stuff so these run you like a hundred pounds to like 200 pounds depending on what mods and all that rubbish you do to it my PlayStation is linked up to these crazy crazy Alienware monitors. Now these monitors are literally what Ninja plays on, but basically they have the fastest reaction time. It's like a one millisecond reaction time, it's crazy. So you have that tiny little reaction time quicker than everyone else because the monitor reacts to the game quicker than anyone else's monitor. So these are really expensive monitors. Well, they're not that expensive. They're like 300 and something pounds, which for a screen is quite expensive, but they look really, really cool. They've got this really nice like black metal finish on the front and then on the back, they're all like this silver graphite color. These are really, really easy to just adjust. They literally go up and down. You can flip them all the way up, just purely for the look. And obviously that one MS speed time and uh, basically spray it down in a second before anyone else can. So that is the monitors. I actually have two of these, one on either side, but I'll get to that one later. This is the PlayStation monitor. Right next to it, we have my blue Yeti microphone. This is just what I use for live streaming. Yeah, the blue Yeti, pretty decent, runs you like a hundred pounds. They come in loads of different colors. I just got the silver because it looks nice with this countertop. If we move down to here, I have a little uh, headphone hook. That is for my two headsets. So my first headset, I have an Astro A50. So it's like surround sound. When someone's on your right, you can clearly hear they're on your right. If someone's behind you, you can clearly hear it's behind you. These are amazing, run you like 200, 250 pounds. But the super, super annoying thing about this is they're wireless. You can't get the sound to go two ways. So you can't get the sound to go to your headset and out to your live stream. So I didn't know that when I picked these up. So if you're looking to live stream or if you're looking to make YouTube videos and stuff like that, I would suggest you pick up the Razer Kraken headset. These are much cheaper um, and they literally just plug into your controller and then you have a little Elgato chat link cable that you need to get and you plug that into your Elgato. That way you can get your live stream to hear your sound as well as you can hear your sound because with these, you can't do it, but with these, you can. I got this little headset hook from Amazon, ran like 10 pounds and that just looks really nice when I can have my headset set. Super clean look. There's like a sticky thing under it. I just stick it under my table and my headsets rest on there really nice and easy. Now, as you can see, you can't see my PlayStation. You can't really see any cables or anything like that. And that's because I have done some serious, serious cable management. So actually, let me take the camera right now. If you can see, I only have one plug and that's because this one plug leads to this massive plug where I plug everything into. So this has like 10 slots plus USB powers if you need to charge anything else. I just put sticky pads under this, stuck it to my desk, and from here, you would never know 
it's there. Same with everything else. I've got channel raceways underneath my desk so you can't see any of the cables. They're all hidden when you're standing up. And then I've got all these little cable clips as you can see here. They're all sticky on the back. You just run the cable through there, stick it to the top of the desk and no one will ever see. I even have more plugs on that side for more power and stuff like that like my Hue lights, my speakers, etc. If you want any of those cable management things like those channel raceways that I have to hide the cables or those little cable clips or anything like that, again, all the cable management stuff will be down below and you actually can't see my PlayStation here at all either so obviously I have my PlayStation linked up there this big little storage box for so in there is lots of cables and ugly stuff that you don't want to see. I just put them in that bait box, no one can see, looks quite cool and I've actually got one on the other side. These two bait storage boxes are actually essential, they just hide away all the ugly stuff which is really really good. So in here I just have my everyday things, my airpods, my wallet, my supreme charger. Then in this drawer I just have my laptop which I actually edit on. There really is no space for me to put my laptop on here so I just hide it in this little drawer right there. So as we are going from this side to this side, I'm now in the middle and I'm gonna run down you a few things that I have in the middle of my setup. So this is basically my browsing uh, computer. So whenever I'm just browsing, um, I'll be on my Mac. And yeah, I have a few little accessories here. We've got this Supreme box, obviously the keyboard and mouse for the Mac. We've actually got a Gucci mouse mat, which is really, really cool. Gives a little cool effect there uh, with all the double Gs on the desk. We've got an off-white ruler. We've got uh, some Supreme notepads. We actually recently just picked up these Louis Vuitton AirPods, which are so expensive, so ridiculous. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. These are like $1,000, so stupid. But to be honest, they aesthetically look really nice. We also have a Supreme charger. We've actually got a Kith shot glass, but I use it to hold all my pens and pencils and stuff like that. Right here, we have my spare phone on a nice little phone holder, matches the Mac, it's exactly the same color. But this actually is my phone that I use every day. So what we have right here is a wireless charger. So where I'm just chilling, there you go, charge. I'm actually on 12%, really not too great. That's those cool little things out of the way. Then right here, I have an off-white Apple Watch. Now I don't really use my Apple Watch too often, but um, it's bright yellow, it gives the table a bit of color, and uh, it's wirelessly charging there all the time. As we move on, this way, right here, we have a nice Tom Ford candle. I light that up sometimes to catch a bit of a vibe. It makes the whole room smell amazing. And uh, your whole room will literally be smelling of this within like 10 minutes. And then just blow it out because it's really expensive. You don't want to waste that candle. So we've done the middle section. Now we are moving on to the left side of my desk. So the left side of my desk is powered by this gaming PC now. I don't really game on a PC, I never have. I've never used the keyboard and mouse to game. Um, I just bought a PC because I needed to live stream again, twitch.tv forward slash iPetro. Please go and follow me on Twitch. Now I don't know how crazy the specs are. I paid like a thousand pounds for it, something like that. Obviously there's loads of room in here. I've gone and put a cause companion inside the gaming PC. I think that looks really, really cool. And uh, you might be wondering what this little uh, devices that's on top of my PC but guys this is an Elgato stream deck this helps me when I'm streaming so if I want to go onto the internet browser do you know what we do we press the internet browser button <laughs> what am I? I don't know how well you can see it on the camera but you can basically set up each little button to do specific things that are basically just gonna make everything easier for you. So I think this is a really, really cool gadget. This is the Elgato Stream Deck. Just basically makes stuff easier for me. Okay, so let's get onto the peripherals, if that's how you say it. Uh, right here, we are rocking a Razer keyboard with that crazy colorful theme going on. Um, you can actually change the colors in there like software so you can make it do different stuff. Look, that's like a different breathing effect or whatever, but I like the Wave one with the multicolored and I've got the Razer mouse now. I would love to hide these cables, but I don't really want to drill through my desk so I can hide the cables. So that's why I haven't hidden the cables. Again, we are running this Alienware crazy monitor. It looks amazing. It's so crisp when I'm on YouTube. It's literally like I'm in a movie or something. The quality on it is amazing. And then the speakers that I'm rocking with this whole PC setup is these Audio Engine A2 Pluses. The sound on these are amazing. When I'm just listening or editing or whatever I'm doing, it's really good when the sound is really good and really loud. I'm gonna turn that off right now. Definitely get these speaker stands if you buy them because it just like angles the sound up to your ears and it makes it sound so much better, honestly. And uh, they're like 20 something pounds. Again, 
Link is down below for everything that you see in this entire setup. They run you like 200 pounds, like 190 pounds, but they look great. It's white and black, clean aesthetic on this like marble effect desk looks really, really good. So we got great sound, great monitor, great PC. Well, not insane PC, but it's a decent PC. It really does the job for me. I didn't spend a crazy amount and maybe I'll upgrade it when I start learning more about gaming PCs and stuff like that because this is my first PC of my whole life like I've never had a custom PC never really knew how to get one or anything like that but I managed to do it and that powers this side of the set in this drawer right here is just used for storage space it's super super helpful so in here I have like a supreme box I have like some chargers and stuff like that and then in this one I have some camera equipment I've got a spare lens in here uh, my drone in this off-white bag right here, every time I go to America, this is like my America bag. This has got all the American outlets and stuff like that. And then in here, we've got some Manfrotto tripods, my GoPros, and just a mic for whenever I need to use my mic. So to finish off, I'm just gonna show you a few little items on this side, just for decoration that I have. Obviously, I have my massive Supreme Ruff, which is right in the middle of my room. And then if you come over here, I have loads of plush dolls and like little accessories. I have this Supreme helmet, which is worth around 2,000 pounds, which is crazy. Obviously, I didn't pay that amount for it, but this is kind of the little cool hype beast section where I've got loads of plush toys, loads of little accessories. On the wall right there, we have Ari Petru's 100,000 subscriber pack. Thank you guys so much for supporting me, and basically, we hit like 100,000 subscribers in like six months. We actually hit 100,000 subscribers on my birthday, so thank you, thank you so much to everyone. Uh, I did get this YouTuber plaque recently in the post. I didn't make a whole video on it because, well, just imagine how many unboxing YouTuber subscriber plaques there are on YouTube. So I didn't want to do that, but we do have that on the wall. We have a really, really cool bait clock, which again is from Saru General, the legend. As I said, he hooked up so many stuff from these Pepsi cans to little plush dolls, to clocks, to rugs, to door stops, so many stuff. Please go and check out his website. It's super, super cool. This is my sneaker wall and stuff like that. Obviously, I don't want to show you all that type of stuff because this is my office and gaming setup, but this is where my wardrobe is. I've got all my clothes in there, my hoodies, my trousers. And then when you come to this side, you have all my jackets. We've got all my Supreme TNFs, Gucci, Supreme. These are all my Supreme t-shirts. These are all my Babe and Gucci t-shirts and stuff like that. And then the bottom drawer, we have pants, socks, and stuff like that, which you guys don't want to see. But I hope you really, really did enjoy all the stuff that you did see on my office and gaming hype beast setup. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. It's been your boy, Ari Petru, UK's biggest hype beast. Thank you so much for watching. Please, please, I cannot stress enough, go and follow me on Twitch. I'm going to be live streaming a lot. There's going to be loads of giveaways, loads of COD points given out, loads of Fortnite points given out, loads of vouchers given out. Just go and follow me on Twitch. Subscribe to this YouTube channel if you are new. I really, really hope you did enjoy and I hope you think my setup looks cool because I am finally happy with my setup. So uh, obviously you can always be improving your setup with little things. And as I do go along, I probably will buy little things to add to my setup and stuff like that. But for now, I love how it is. I hope you guys think it's cool. Guys, it's been your boy, Ari Petru, UK's Biggest Hype. You subscribe right now. Get this video to 10,000 likes. Smash the like button. I appreciate you guys. Follow me on Instagram as well, at Ari Petru. It's on the screen right now. The link's down below. Peace out. Goodbye.